Okay. So we're getting close to the end here. Here we have a drug development. And uh, here we have, uh, are you for me? Improves the judgment of single women about to have sex with eligible seeming men. Okay. And perceptia induces euphoric acceptance of hair loss, weight gain, impotence, and other natural symptoms of aging. So better living through chemistry. <laughs> I will be selling some of these things at the break if you happen to be interested in this. Okay, limits of pharmacologic treatment. I, I, you know, as we're getting towards the end of this, we're going to take a break, come back and do a little bit of review if you need to, and then we'll take our exam. Uh, I've been standing up here talking to you for four Saturdays. I know it's a lot of stuff to take in. Uh, I hope it'll be helpful in uh, the work you did clinically, but what I, what I also hope is that everybody here really gets it about the limitations of psychopharmacology and potential harm that can happen because of side effects and appropriate use of medications. And I want to give you a quote that I have memorized that uh, I like a lot. This is from Roy Menninger years ago, a very famous psychiatrist. He says, they will never invent a pill that will mend the broken heart fill empty lives, or teach people how to love one another. And, you know, my concern, and one reason I'm in favor of psychologists getting prescription privileges if they get the appropriate training, is because psychologists, I think, are in the best position to really get it about the whole person. And psychiatry is being driven into a corner <clears throat> where they're just prescribing medications. And psychiatrists, I know that are my friends, say, I'm... I'm glad I'm about ready to retire because no way would I enter this field the way it is right now. So I think we're, we're going to see the day when uh, more psychologists are able to prescribe. But in the meantime, you guys and gals are going to really be in the driver's seat in terms of knowing what's going on with your patients about medication treatment and your ability to skillfully talk with primary care doctors uh, and collaborate, watch for side effects, improvement, need change of uh, dose and so forth, is going to make a huge difference for lots and lots of people that you're going to see. Okay? So never forget psychotherapy. <laughs> okay.